Hey y'all, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the next one in the series of my declutter series. So I am going through my entire makeup, skincare, hair care collection, and I am trying to declutter the hell out of this, okay? Because I have two sets of big drawers, and to be honest, they are getting really packed, and I need to make more room because I'm going to want new stuff. So it's time to get rid of the old, and let's be honest here, we're going to be bringing in some new this year. Today we are decluttering my entire lip collection. So this is my bullet lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, lip balms, lip liners, lip glosses, lip scrubs, all the above. <laughs> we are decluttering the hell out of everything. So far I have decluttered my face products. So like my foundation, my concealer, my blushes, my highlighters, and I've also decluttered my eyeshadow palette. So those videos are gonna be linked in the description box down below if you wanna check them out. I have gotten rid of so much stuff already. So I have this massive container that I am filling up slowly with all of my products. I want to keep filling just that one bin as I go through this declutter series. So at the end, I can see how much I'm really getting rid of. I'm going to be giving all of this away to family and close friends. So I'm really excited to give that away to them. But as always with my declutters, there's kind of two quick caveats. Number one, there are a lot of makeup items I keep for sentimental purposes. Some makeup really does hold a special place in my heart, as cheesy as that may sound. So I might be keeping something from two decades ago and it does doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to use it, or maybe I will. Who knows? Maybe it's expired and I'm still going to slather it on my face, but yes. And number two, I only went cruelty-free back in the beginning of 2018, so there are still some items in my collection that are definitely from prior to that, so I know that I should be getting rid of them again, but no, as long as they don't smell funky, as long as they're not giving me herpes of the face, we're cool. And last thing, if this is your first time here, hi, my name is Linda. I'm a cruelty-free beauty YouTuber and I always wanna help you decide whether or not makeup, skincare, hair care products and all the lip products are worth your money, whether they are drugstore priced or luxury high-end. I just want you to spend your money wisely. So if you're into that, please consider hitting that subscribe button or to give this video a thumbs up or even hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. Now let's dig into my lipstick declutter. Also, I am filming this intro a little bit later, so that's why you're gonna see my nail polish change, okay? Just roll with it. So as you have seen, here are my Alex Tower drawers. All of my lipstick products are in the seventh drawer. So I only have one drawer of lip products, but there's a lot in there. I do have these great lipstick organizers, but then there's all these on the side that just kind of tumble. There's these packs that are sitting on top. There's this tub with a ton of stuff in it. Lip balms, there's just, oh, there's too much in there. We need to get rid of some. The first thing I'm starting with can't even fit in the drawer, but I am keeping all of this. So I did win this from ColourPop. This is the 48 pack big box of lippy sticks, and this is all of their lippy sticks. I'm gonna link a video down below of me swatching all 48 of these. I still need time to play with all these. I only won this just a few months ago, so I really want time to play with this. I wish this fit in the drawer. Maybe at the end of this it will, but these are all staying. Okay, we're gonna start with liquid lipsticks. I will be honest, I don't wear nearly as much liquid lipstick as I used to. I still really, really love the ones that I love, but there's a lot of this that can go. I will start with a keep though. This is the Ofra collab with Jen Loves Reviews. This is the Metamorphosis Lip Kit, and it comes with three different shades, and I know it would save so much space if I took it out of this packaging, but I'm just so proud of Jen, and this was something I received in PR, and I don't receive much PR, so I'm still hanging on to this. I really do like this. It's a lot of fun to mix and match these shades, so this is a keep. This is going to be another keep. I just received this from Ofra, and this is their Flexi Sticks. So these are supposed to be a little more forgiving than a regular liquid lipstick, maybe not as drying. I'm really curious to try these. I haven't even taken them out of the package yet, but look how beautiful that red is, and this nude. Oh, God. I really like the idea of these. These are staying. And you know what? These, these can go. So these are the Meet Matt Hughes Nude Set by The Balm. These are nice. I used each of them maybe once or twice or something like that. I didn't love these though. And you know, while I'm at it, I'm gonna get rid of these as well. So these are two others from the collection. These were not the nude set. These were obviously a little bit darker, but the bomb just didn't have my favorite formula of liquid lipstick. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of all of these. 
Here's another one I can get rid of. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte, and I believe the shade is Cool Girl. This shade was just way too cool toned for my liking. It did not look good on me. This can go. Here's the only Dose of Colors liquid lipstick I have, and this shade is in cork. I'll be honest, this shade is a little warmer than I would normally wear for a brown. It's a little leaning on the yellow side, but I do still want to experiment with this. This is a keep. These two are exactly the same, even though they look a little different on camera. This is the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in Ashton. I'm going to get rid of this one. So this was my favorite. I dropped it on the ground outside of my house and didn't realize it until I stepped on the lid. But in that time when this was missing, I bought a new one. There is no reason for me to keep this one with the crushed up lid. This one can go. This one can stay. These are also exactly the same. This is the Ofra Liquid Lipstick in Verona. This is the old packaging. This is the new packaging. I am going to go ahead, hmm, you know what? I am going to keep the old packaging and I'm going to put this aside for a giveaway because it's brand new. It's never been touched. Maybe one of you would like it. So I'm going to be saving stuff for a future giveaway. So make sure you subscribe. This is going to go aside and this is staying in my collection. Here's another one that's just going to go in a giveaway. This is still sealed. After months and months, this is an Alter Ego liquid lipstick, and the shade is Vanity number 5. Um, I just never got around to using this, and to be honest, if I haven't yet, and it's been months, I'm not going to. So I'm going to put this one aside for a giveaway as well. Here's one that's interesting. Who saw my first impressions with the NYX Shine Loud liquid lipsticks? My first impression was not good, so why am I keeping these both? because I used them, I dropped them, that's why. I used these wrong in that first video. I used them very wrong, and since then I've gotten the hang of it, and these are really cool. So they're a very comfortable liquid lipstick with a clear gloss, and the gloss stays on. So it's a long-lasting, glossy lipstick. These are really cool, these are staying. Here's another one that can go. This is a beautiful, beautiful shade by Collab. Look how cool the packaging is too. It's just really neat. The problem is that this tended to lean on the pinky side of red, which I do not like on my skin tone. It's just not for me, so this can go. Then we have all of these beautiful Ofra shades that I just, I just love so, so much. Um, I, I'm, I'm keeping all of them. Yeah, I'm keeping every one of these. Ofra has some of my favorite lipstick, lip, liquid lipstick formula. I love these. These are staying. This is so old that it has separated. This is by LA Splash. Oh God, I'm just throwing this one away. I'm not even getting rid of this to a friend. Look at that. Oh, this one's just going in the trash. This is super old. This surprises me, but I think I'm going to keep this one. This is by Hank and Henry, and how cool is this that it looks like a lipstick in there, like a real lipstick, but it's actually a liquid, but the color is so pretty. It's just a nice floral pink color, and oh god, how cool is that packaging? I just, I really enjoyed this. This is staying. All right, this can go. This is a Stila Liquid Lipstick Mini in the shade Patina. Now, I do love the formula of their liquid lipsticks, but this color looked awful on me. Just awful. This is going. This is an Ofra Mini in the shade Milan, and it is such a stunning deep red. I am keeping this. I have a ton of these Kat Von D Mini shades, so let's see which ones we're going to want to keep, and these are all Kat Von D and not KVD Vegan Beauty. I have not purchased from Kat Von D in a very long time. KVD, I'm sorry, in a very long time. This shade can absolutely go. This is a very dark purple. It just didn't look good on me. The shade is Exorcism. This one can go. This is Witches, and as of right now, it's the only black liquid lipstick I have. I would love to find another one, though, so let me know if you know of any cruelty-free black liquid lipsticks that you like. This one is going to stay for now. This one can also go. This is Damned, and it's a very, very, very dark brown. It looked awful on me. This one's going. Yet another one that can go. This is Sanctuary, and this is sort of that kind of grayish color. Again, I don't love super cool toned lips on myself. This can go. To make things easy, all the rest of these are staying. They are various shades of pinks and nudes and then one red. I really do love this formula. So these are kind of hard for me to get rid of. <laughs> Those are staying. I do also have six full size. 
look how broken this lid is it's on there tight but it's full size um out of this okay i'm definitely gonna be getting rid of this color this is hilda this shade hilda is a very orangey brown this one i'm gonna get rid of the rest of these though are all gonna stay i love mixing this orange in with other colors and yeah, I just love these. These are staying. This is the Stila Liquid Lipstick in Fiery. Another one of my favorite reds. This is staying. This can go, though. This is another of those meat matte hues. Again, I just don't like the formula. And this can also go. This is an M Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick. And the color was just a little too milky pink for my taste. So this is going to go. Okay, time for bullet lipsticks. Whew. I can see some in here already that are going to be very hard for me to get rid of but I'm really gonna do my best here. Let me start by making myself feel better by knowing that I'm going to get rid of this. This is by Inglot, and it is a bright, bright coral orange that I never, ever wear. This can go. So these are two lipsticks from Propa Beauty. We have the shade Victress and Profits. So these are both various shades of browns. To be honest, I'm gonna keep both of these because I love mixing these and they're nice warm colors. It's a little hard to wear them on their own for me, but I do really like them. These are staying. Also, here's one that's staying for sentimental purposes. This is the 10th anniversary Kat Von D collection. And how beautiful is this bullet? I mean, it's just so stunning. And the shade is just the most beautiful, deep matte red. This is 100% staying. So this is the only thing I own from KKW Beauty. And this is the lipstick in Nude 4. I thought this was going to be really nice, and it looks right up my alley, but the shade is just not what I want it to be, and I think it would look better on somebody with a different skin tone than me, so this can go. Let's move on to these guys. These are the ColourPop Luxe lipsticks. This is when they first came out, though, and I can tell you a lot of this is going to go. Let's start here with the shade Foolish. It's pretty, it is, but this just, again, didn't look very good on me. It was a nice kind of brick orangey red, and is this one of the shades? No, so a bunch of these, the lipstick falls right out of the tube. This is not one, but still, this can go. This is Liquid Courage, again, very pretty, but I have tons of shades like this that I like the formula better, so this can go. So this shade upset me. This is Uno Mas, and I've used a decent amount of it, but is this the one that falls out? One of these falls out, I swear. This shade just was too light on me. This can, oh wow, this can go too. This one will absolutely go. This is Friends and it is exceedingly dark brown. This is going, holy crap, this is gonna go too. This shade is Appy. Um, again, it's just too light for me. It's too light of a nude. It makes me sad because I still do love all these star imprints, but this is just too light and not creamy enough. It's gotta go. Yet another. I feel bad. These are barely used, but I have formulas I do like better than these. I liked them originally, but that was before I had tried a whole lot, so this one can go. This is LA Lady. This one was an interesting color. Hmm, do I want to keep this? I might keep this because this was a very pretty... Oh, it's a little loose, a little loose, but this is a very pretty kind of pinky mauve tone. Um, this one can stay. This one will also stay. This is on repeat. This is an orangey red, but it's more orange than red. I know it looks a hot mess, but I do like this one. This will stay. Oh, yep, this is the one. Ah! Crap. Maybe I could, you know what? I'm going to try to melt this down a little bit and press it back in there. Oh, I should get rid of it. You know what? I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to get rid of it. It's broken. Why would I keep it? That's got to go. So this is a very random one, but this is staying. This is the NYX Butter Lipstick in, I think it's called Pops Explosive, or maybe it's just Pops, but I love this color. Oh God, it looks so gross, but I love mixing this with other colors. This is staying. Surprisingly, I only have three Urban Decay lipsticks. So this is 1993, a matte brown. This one is hella staying. It's one of my favorites. This is their shade in F-Bomb, which is one of my favorite, if not my favorite, red bullet lipsticks. This is staying. And then the third one is called Intensity. I love mixing the shades with others to make them just a bit more light, maybe in the center of the lips. This is staying. Here's another one that can go. This is the Sugar Pill Lipstick in Antisocialite. 
I don't know what I was thinking with a dark purple. <laughs> this is what I used to wear when I was like 16, but this is not me now, so this can go. I have two Melt Bullet lipsticks here. One of them is staying, one of them is going. I'm not sure which is which. So this is the first one, and this is in the shade 1969. So this is the one that is going to go because I never used it. The shade just, I can tell it's just not my thing. It's too orangey. It's just not great. This is going to go. This one is going to stay, and I didn't think I was going to want it to, but this one is still that orangey brown color, but it's a bit more neutral. I just like this one. I'm getting used to it. This is staying. This is my all-time favorite ColourPop Luxe lipstick. This is What's Your Sign. This was part of a Kathleen Lights collection. This is one of my perfect nudes. It's really, really beautiful. It's perfect. This is staying. And yes, I saved this packaging, even though it's beat up, because I love constellations and zodiac signs, so I saved it. I've talked about these before. These are the Tarte Color Splash lipsticks. People do not give these the praise that they deserve. These are some of the creamiest, most beautiful lipsticks I have found on the market. So I have three shades. This one is Colada. This is a pinky nude and it's just beautiful. This one is my absolute favorite. This is Skinny Dip. You can see how low it is. This is my favorite nude to put in the center of my lip. It is creamy. It is stunning. This is staying. Now this one, the color is Boardwalk. This is what I look for when I do get a brown lipstick. This one is creamy and comfortable. It's so comfortable. It doesn't drag on the lips. I love to use this to deepen up other shades. This is staying. This is so old and I'm embarrassed to admit it, but this is staying. This is the M Cosmetics lipstick in nude. I'm just showing you like nude beige after nude beige. I know it, but like this one is so beautifully creamy and pigmented and shiny and comfortable. Oh, this is one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. Another favorite lipstick of mine is this one. This is from the Desi and Katie collection with Dose of Colors, so you can tell it's older. This is Aftermath, and I have used this. I'm using it very deeply down to the nub. This is another warm brown I love to mix with other colors. I swear I'm not so boring that I only wear a nude brown. I promise. <laughs> but this is staying. And here we are. Most of these lipsticks, nay, all of them are almost definitely expired. Am I keeping some? Yes. These three I'm absolutely keeping for sentimental purposes. This was Max collection with Rocky Horror Picture Show. Rocky Horror has a very, very, very special place in my heart. I went to see Rocky Horror Picture Show every single Saturday night for years in high school. This just meant a lot to me. Uh, all three of these colors, Frankenfurter, Strange Journey, and Oblivion, I don't even use them, I'll be honest, but I'm saving these for sentimental purposes. Let's see if we can get rid of some of these though. Oh my god, do you see this? You know what? I'm going to make a plan to use this by the end of the month. This is MAC Viva Glam 5. It was the most beautiful Viva Glam. It's just, again, a nude, but it had lots of shine to it. This is staying. Look at this, you guys. Look, it just, it just comes apart. This one is definitely Russian red. This is the old school MAC red lipstick, but this can go. I have other reds that I like better. R.I.P. Russian Red. Here's another one that can go. This is from the Viva Glam Cindy Lauper collab. I used a lot of this. It's kind of a pink peachy red. I loved this, but this can go. These two are almost identical, and I'm keeping both. So we have Brave and Whirl. Okay, they look actually quite different. You can tell the difference. I'm keeping both of these, though. These were the original lipsticks that Kylie Jenner used when she first came out into the world with her big beautiful lips and everyone needed this lipstick including me this can go i had to look this up online this came out in 2007 this was part of the barbie loves mac collection look at this color oh gosh okay i just have to swatch it for you the color was this shiny pink with blue reflex really beautiful and i wore the hell out of this but 2007 14 years ago, this can go. This can also go. This was one of their more sheer lipsticks that MAC did. Is it not even? Nope, nope, it eventually goes up. It's pretty, but you know what? I don't love it. Look at that, it won't even go down. Come on. Oh my gosh, it's broken, broken. Will you go in? If I press you? Yes, you will. This is definitely going, oh my God. 
I've talked about these before, but these were the Slim Shine lipsticks. So they are just very sheer, comfortable lipsticks, but I can tell you that this one is definitely going. This is Tropic Sunshine. Again, a hot pink, very pretty, but no. These two are both the same. The color is Bare, my all-time favorite, number one nude. These are staying. This is a whole bunch of random stuff, okay? Some of this is extra liquid lipsticks I didn't see. Some of it is bullet lipsticks I didn't see. Some of it is glosses. This is just a mishmash of a lot of stuff. Let's pick out one that can go away. This is the Sugar Pill Trinket Liquid Lipstick. The only reason it can go away is because, do you see how I've scraped the edges of this? This is just empty. <laughs> this can go. This can also go. This is another Inglot lipstick. I thought that this was going to be a replacement for my beloved MAC Bare Slim Shine. It is not. It just doesn't work on me. This can go. Here are two liquid lipsticks by Pixi. This one is absolutely staying. I love this bright orangey red, but this one, this kind of cool toned nude color, it just doesn't look good on me. This can go. This can also go because this hasn't even been opened. So this is a metallic lipstick, it says, by Laura Geller. First of all, it's that orangey yellow that doesn't look great on me as much as I want it to. And also, metallic lipsticks and I do not agree. So this is going to go. Here are some that are definitely staying. These are my two Fenty Beauty gloss bombs in Hot Chocolate and Fenty Glow. These are the best. They're staying. Here are two that can go though. Can you guys tell how much I used to be obsessed with brown lipstick? I still am, but I was really obsessed. These are the Jouer liquid lipsticks. Um, they're nice. I don't use them enough. They can go. Here are three more Fenty products that are staying. These are the Slip Shine Sheer Shiny Lipsticks. So let's see, can I get them all off at once? I can. So these are various shades of nudes and pinks. I love them all. They are all staying. These are great if you like a more sheer, hydrating lipstick. These almost feel like a lip balm. They're very comfortable staying. Here are a few that can go. This is a liquid lipstick by Joa Beauty, and it was very nice, um, and I did enjoy it, but I feel like somebody else could enjoy it more, like one of my friends who's going to be able to pick from all this stuff. And this is from KAB. I guess it's KAB Beauty. I'm not sure, but this is just a very pigmented gloss. Very pretty. I got this in a boxy charm, but again, I just don't use it enough, so it's gonna go. This was another boxy charm. This is Christopher Buckle lipstick. I really enjoyed this color. Like, I need to look more into this brand. This is just a very rosy pink. It was very comfortable to wear. This is staying. Here's another boxy charm. Oh my gosh, this lipstick. Do you remember this? The glittery outside of this. Look at that. But the lipstick color itself is very matte and so lovely this is staying. Let's go over these three thick boys because they're all staying. These two are the Luxe Glosses from the Raw Beauty Christie and ColourPop collection. One is a sort of milky pink, the other one is a pearly white. And then this is the Dose of Colors Brio Lip Gloss from the I Love Sarah E collection. These are all staying. These are some of my three favorite glosses. I love them. They're staying. So it kind of hurts me to give this one up, but this is quite old. This, do you see the gold shimmer in this lip gloss? Oh, this is by Makeup Forever. This is, again, very old, and I do love it, but it can go. I've talked about these before, but these are the Pixi Lip Lift Max glosses. This one is Honey Sheen, and this one is Cake. They are perfect. These glosses do not get enough love. They are so comfortable and so shimmery. They make your lips look so juicy and they're not sticky. I can't say enough good things about both of these. They are staying. This is interesting. This is a Dose of Colors lipstick that I got in a BoxyCharm and it is a very cool toned mauve. Um, you know what? I think this one can go. It's nice. It is, but it can go. And you know what? The rest of this is all staying. So we have three more random ColourPop lippy sticks. These are in the shades Aquarius, Cookie, and Trust Me, I love all of them. They're saying this is the Ofra and Samantha March Millie lip gloss. The sparkles in here, I wish I could really show them to you. It is so beautifully shimmery and it doesn't look white at all on the lips. I love, love, love this. Here was another random boxy charm find, Luna by Luna lip gloss. This is just a very shimmery pink. I really enjoyed this. This is staying. 
the Natasha Denona Lip Euphoria. I'm sad that it's almost gone. This is absolutely staying until it's completely gone. This shade is so stunning. This is a gloss and a balm, and it's so comfortable. I'm keeping this. <laughs> These two are from Kat Von D Beauty again. These are the Everlasting Shimmer Veils. These did so poorly, but I loved these. They are very, very, very shimmery liquid lipstick toppers. Do you see how incredibly metallic that is? You can wear these alone or you can wear them on top of something else, but they're so beautiful and people hated these and I don't understand why. These are both staying. And then we have the final two. So this is the Sugar Pill Crystal Trinket Lip Gloss. So again, you have that gorgeous gold shimmer in the pink base. I love this. This, oh gosh, I'm so sad that Wet n Wild is no longer cruelty free. What jerks. This is the Liquid Cat Suit. It is a liquid lipstick, but it is so shiny. It does not last as long as a traditional liquid lipstick, but it's beautiful. This is staying. So here are my containers of lip liners and various lip balms and lip scrubs. I'm not going to go through and tell you why I'm saving each one. But I'm just going to go through this and speed it up, and you'll be able to see what I save. Yeah, this baby said that they don't got a future, future like that. It burns, so give him something worse to kill his head with, make him forget somehow. Might be that another day she would have wished he stayed, but they're done. Sorry, this won't be enough this time. Yeah, he's calling all his friends. Okay, here's what I am saving, and I don't have a whole lot of lip liners. I would really like to build up my collection. Let me know in the comments what your favorite brands of lip liners are, because I really could use some more. I love them to be creamy. That's all I care about. I just do not like dry lip liners. Okay, so these are all my lip balms and scrubs that I'm saving, so yes. All right, so this is all that I'm keeping. This is what I'm getting rid of. That is a lot for me. I'm kind of proud of the amount. That's like half my collection, right? That's like half of my collection. Oh my God. I am so proud of myself, yay. Okay, I am frankly shooketh, shooketh at how much I got rid of. I hoard makeup. So the fact that I got rid of basically half of my collection, like, can I get a round of applause in the con? I'm just patting myself on my back. You know what? I'm going to give myself a damn round of applause over here. Guys, this been this far. Ooh, don't fall out. This is insane. This is so heavy at this point. This is easily like, oh my God, maybe like 20 pounds. This, I'm going to put it down. And I did an arm workout today too, ow. But I'm seriously so proud of me, I really am. So comment down below, let me know, did you think that I would be able to get rid of this much? You guys know me, you know how much I hold on to stuff. So I'm really proud of myself, yay. My drawer is nice and neat and organized now and there's lots of space in there for new goodies to come in, yes. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. There's going to be more coming up in the series. I still haven't touched skincare or hair care. I still haven't touched my single eyeshadows and my glitters. I don't want to get rid of any glitters. I even have loose pigments that I know I haven't touched in years, but it's going to be real hard for me to get rid of them. Anyway, vote down below. Let me know what you want me to declutter next because I am on a high from this. That's it. You guys can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Those are all Glitter Fallout. And as always and forever, you are super freaking rock stars. I love you so much with my whole, whole heart. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Don't you wanna have